um, we're not going to take any chances and um, we've agreed that uh, they should ask all the Nigerians to stay at um, uh, in their residence and um, what we plan to do is that once the airports uh, are open, uh, the embassy will assist uh, those who are ready and, and willing uh, to, to leave the country. There are five uh, airports and, um, and so we are now uh, planning on um, you know, how to uh, get those who want to leave to the air, uh, airports uh, nearest to uh, where they're staying and then helping uh, and assisting uh, for them to uh, evacuate, uh, to leave the country. The advice that we were getting was that um, we should not uh, panic, the Nigerians uh, in uh, uh, Ukraine should not panic. Uh, the embassy was in touch with them, uh, telling them to uh, take um, you know, reasonable precautions, uh, and, um, which has been ongoing uh, for a while. Now, um, you know, the question, of course, was whether the, um, the Russians would invade. And um, the Russian government itself, uh, of course, was saying that they would not uh, uh, invade. Uh, the Americans and uh, the UK, of course, were saying that an invasion was imminent. So it was very, very difficult uh, to take a definitive uh, position with regards to um, advising uh, everybody to leave. The travel advisory that came out, um, uh, when I, the last time I spoke to the uh, ambassador about two days ago, I said to him, we have to err on the side of caution, that those who want to leave should leave. And, um, you know, and, and uh, this was, uh, this was uh, issued. There were interviews with a number of Nigerian students who said that they preferred to, uh, to stay, that things were calm, and that they did not feel under any immediate threat.